So you're probably seeing cutscenes like this where it just gets stuck and it doesn't progress. Or you'll get dropped into where it should be a cutscene section, but instead it thinks that it's a gameplay section and the cutscene never happens. And here's a list of GPUs that I've used and I know work for this fix. If you have newer GPUs that aren't on this list, please put it in the comments if it worked or didn't work for you. If you don't know what GPU you have, just right click the taskbar and click task manager. You may need to click more details, then click the performance tab and on this column it should say GPU and that'll tell you what GPU you have. If it doesn't show anything for GPU, then what you may need to do is right click the start menu, go to device manager, and then go to display adapters and click the arrow next to it and then it will tell you what your GPU is. We'll need two programs to make this fix possible. The first being Riva Tuner and I'll put these in the description below the actual links but yeah, go to Guru 3D, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then get the latest version. So at the time of the filming, it's 7.3.4. And then just wait, it'll pop up eventually, and then it will start downloading. You'll need to extract this file. So if you don't have a file extractor, you can just get WinRAR or 7-Zip for free. Once it's downloaded, click File Explorer, and then go to Downloads. Right-click on the downloaded file, and then if you have 7-Zip or WinRAR, you just hover over it and it should say Extract here. And then once you do that, then you're going to double-click on the Execute file. And say Yes. And then just Next, 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 and install it and let it go through its installation process. Once it's finished, uncheck README, say Finish, and you can exit out of File Explorer. The second program we need to download is OpenJK, and you can get it from GitHub, and I'll put the link in the description below, but if you go directly through it this way, you have to scroll down to where it says download the latest build. It may take a little bit to load this next one, so just be patient, and it should say OpenJK Builds, get the latest one there, and download that. Next, we need to open up File Explorer and right-click the downloaded folder and say copy, or you can just say Control-C to copy it. For those of you who have Steam, I'm going to show you where to go to put this file. So we need to go first to Programs x86, then we'll go to Steam, then we'll go to uh, Steam Apps, then Common, then we'll go to Jedi Academy, and then we'll go to Game Data. So on the side, you can right click and say Paste or just press Control V, and then you're going to right click that folder. And just like before, if you have 7 zipper WinRAR, go up to that and say Extract here. It's going to ask, do you want to overwrite files? Say Yes to All. And then you're good. Just delete the zipped file now. We don't need that anymore. For those of you who have the game on GOG Galaxy, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to right-click and copy that file or Control-C. Then the location for it is you go to Programs x86. We're going to go to GOG Galaxy. Then we're going to go to Games. We're going to go to the actual game, and we're going to go Game Data. And then you're going to right-click and paste, or just say Control-V, and then we're going to extract the file just like before. Use 7-Zip or WinRAR and say Extract here, and then say Yes to All to overwrite the files. And then we don't need that zipped file anymore, so you can right-click it and get rid of it, or just say Delete. Now we can exit out of this. We're going to go to the Start menu, and we're going to look for Riva Tuner, and you can pin that to either your desktop, your Start menu, or your taskbar. Click it to load the program. Then go ahead and say Yes, and it's going to appear on the bottom right corner of your taskbar as a little monitor-looking icon, so click that. Then you want to click the green Add button, and you'll need to go where it says Look In to the actual file path, whether it's for Steam or for GOG and we want to click on the JASP Jedi Academy single player execute file. That file directly correlates with the play button in Steam or the play button in GOG Galaxy. So go ahead and open that file. Then we're going to frame rate limit it because that's the whole point of Riva Tuner is to limit the frame rate because it has to be between 30 and 35 for the most stable performance with cutscenes and for the cutscenes to actually occur. Then we're going to add another one, and this time we're going to use OpenJK single player execute file, and we're going to frame rate limit it the same way. We're going to do 35. Some of you may need to go down to 30, 32, depending on your particular hardware that you have. Next we're going to create an OpenJK single player desktop shortcut. You can't just click and drag it onto the desktop. 
nor can you copy and paste it to the desktop. The file won't launch, so the game won't launch. Right click on the desktop, go to new, click shortcut, browse, and then you're going to follow the same file path that you do for Steam or for GOG, wherever you have it installed on. Once you've selected the OpenJK single player file, click next, finish, and now you've got your desktop icon. And now it will actually work so that you don't have to click through this whole file path to use this every single time. Now we're pretty much done. You do have to have Riva Tuner running when you're playing the game, and then all the cutscenes should work. That being said, I have noticed that if you have an integrated graphics card, it's best to use the play button in Steam or in GOG. If you have a dedicated graphics card, it's best to use the OpenJK desktop launcher. Pretty much every time you use the OpenJK version, you're going to have the screen partly cut off. So as you can see at the top, it cuts off Star Wars. It's not fully showing that. So the way to show the full screen is hold down Alt and push Enter and let go. Then hold down Alt again, push Enter, and let go both. You may need to do that a third time. Sometimes it takes three times so that it actually is centered. Now you can see that Star Wars is fully visible and the actual screen for the whole game is visible. So here are the exact settings that I used for all of the testing. Video mode, you can put the resolution here or up to here. If you go any higher, first of all, the screen just looks weird, and second of all, it doesn't, some of the cutscenes won't work with that. So just in between here. Then you do need to have video sync on. That has to be on for this to work. These are all the settings I have here. Same with the sound. And then same with all of this. And now the cutscenes will finally work. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment if it worked or didn't work for you and what graphics card you have. See you guys next time.